Somewhere up there. So no, no, so we pick up around here. Let me get the shoot. Yes. So we are at um, we're in a compound, Saint Elizabeth, the January 6th celebrations, and we're here with students from the All Together Sing Champions. Um, hope well, I. They were a little bit anxious early and ready to go at me because. They were thinking that there were some places that they were they are not supposed to go, which is which is true. So I see that we are not um, descendants of the Maroons. We are not allowed to go to certain places. So we are here in a compound, and right here we have a statue symbolizing the great Maroon hero Kojo, and Kojo would be one of the siblings of Nani and Taki. We all know that Nani is from Portland, Taki is from St. Mary, Taki High School. And then we have Kodja here in the hills of St. Elizabeth, um, Shalon. So we are where the, the kinder tree is. Kinder. So these are the trees that they believe that they would meet under to plan how to attack um, the, um, the British. They are gone, the Maroons are gone down to a place that is called the Kinder Tree where they believe that Kodja was buried and Kodja is their great hero. So we can go down there, so they are gone down there for their special celebrations and with pork and all of that and then they are going to march and come back up and I think we are hearing some drums coming up. Yeah, so they are coming up from the Kinder Tree and then we are going to follow them back up 
and then later on in the day they'll have civic ceremony and all of that. Okay? Nice. So, some Peter Toss said they call it marijuana. Uh, St. Simina, Bush Doctor, Kali, name it also we're in a marijuana field. Yeah. Uh, we're in heaven. We're in heaven. <laughs> and it smells strong, yeah? So this is the real Kali. Alright, so you just feel this and you feel smoke this and you feel airy. I don't smoke by the way, but anyhow. Mmm, wow. From the backside, yeah. So we are in Maroon Town and um, real life. JA, we're here with some students from Hopewell High School, um, and of our students and teachers. And that's also my day job. So we're here for the January 6th celebration in Akompo. So, a group they're gone down to um, Kinder Village or what they believe is the burying site for Kojo, their hero. So they are down there with the port doing their thing and all of that. So they soon come up back. And there are some of us and Bell with that video showed you some of that earlier. Some of us are up there where they are having drumming and all those things and we're waiting on them to come up. And the rest of us we are Yeah. We are sitting for the herb. Whoa. <laughs> I probably may hire already, yeah, but guys, this I've never seen ganja like this yet. I must have seen ganja. And funny enough that we are here, you know that we are talking about um, marijuana becoming uh, what bauxite was to us, that marijuana will become that. I mean, I hope it can become that and it is a, it won't be a case where the small farmers like these in a compound here they get cut out of the business and the big men and the big conglomerates come and take over so i guess marijuana is our next gold rush so we had bauxite so it's marijuana next all right so we're in the marijuana feel is that only marijuana is here no guys we have corn and we have gongo we have mango tree we have plantain tree we have cocoa and we have all of those things. Yes, yeah, so it's not only marijuana. <laughs> but the marijuana trunk. People, the marijuana trunk. Me drunk already, me high. <laughs> I'm lighted. One of my students is telling me that I'm lighted. Alright. Let me get this too. So, I'm lighted, Tajay. <laughs> Oh, oh, Alright, they don't want to come. They're, 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 they're camera shy. Come on, they're they're camera shy. Come on. Come on. Oh, me come on. She and Carly people them. Call them. Yes, I'm going to say. Yeah. 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 What, so what do you guys think about this trip? Don't got no smoke now. Don't got no whiskey for some fun. What much do you know about the barrel? Yeah, and that's the thing, you know, we don't know much about this. That's why right. yeah, 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 we don't really know much about this part of our history. I purpose of the trip, yeah, learn. So, yeah, this is where the British could not conquer. I heard somebody saying earlier that the British kept and um, conquered so many parts of the world. 
Hong Kong Naruto, yeah? Australia. Not Naruto, Kung Pao, sorry. Hi, seriously. <laughs> they could have they could have conquer uh, a compound town. Ryan, be careful, you know. You might like put get the area for a good man. Okay. Legal, legal. You're legal, you're 18? Yeah, yeah, I love it. No. Ryan, you're old, you're 18 and you're 18. No, I'm an idea from no button. I'm an idea, mama. So you're legal now? I'm a legal. Okay. Alright. No, no, you don't smoke. Yeah. <coughs> no, yeah, I know you smoke already. No, you, no. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. You smoke already, right? I love you. Uh, you smoke already? Why you smoke? I'm telling you, I smoke, sir. Yes, right. <laughs> Rambo, <laughs> what is that? Uh, we no schoolers, no schoolers. Are we? No schoolers. Huh? Yeah. No schoolers. They're not schoolers. They are schoolers, but they are adults. <laughs> they are the big, they are the big ones. <laughs> but this up here seems, um, yo, um, viewers, apart from the ganja, yeah, there's, there, so apart from the ganja, um, there's a pork here. I saw some wicked jerk pork earlier down the road, which I'm going to try and sample. So the food. <laughs> so I saw some jerk pork on, on the road, and it looks nice. It looks nice. So a compound looks beautiful. It looks green. Um, a compound, it is said that is a community in Jamaica that has less, less crime and probably has the, 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 the sort of crime that we have elsewhere. A compound doesn't have it. Yeah. African pine, you know? African pine, yeah? Don't know that one is African pine, you know? Yeah. And that one is white ice. You see what I mean? Oh. Yeah, man, we are weed, man, you know, man. I hope you are from, you know, man. You don't know, you know? You know, so nothing, man. Send you, you send you there, you know? Cockpit country, you know? A compound town. You don't know. You have your status, Rasta. You don't know. You know, you feel, you don't know. Go to your place, you see me? Thing, turn up. Ice great. You have to check sent you see me? The eye is great. Not it down. My respect, you see me? Gary otherwise, you see me? You got the status. Oh no man. Yeah. I want me look and see. I want to put me see cross with us. I've got a big chip cross with us. Yeah, I want to fuck. Hey, hey. What do you mean? Man. Sorry. Hmm? Someone has been up in your arms, push out and lose us. Hold on, no. Look for another one, look for another one. 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 Look for all right. Which one that? AK. I'm not 47. No. See, more so hard to do. All right, cool. <laughs> Come. 
You can smell it, man. Smell it. Mmm. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Is it strong? Oh, yeah, that shit's strong.
they could have survived when they were in the mountains. You're standing here today and you look over at those mountains, look how rugged they are, right? And if you, if, I'm, I am assuming that if most of you would go over there and say you're gonna spend a day or three days or something like that, you might start. Because you don't know what to eat. You don't know what kind of food to pick or anything like that. Or how to, to, to trap and catch a bird or a pony or a wild pig. But something you need to bear in mind is that when our four parents came to Jamaica, and I'm speaking now directly to the African four parents, right? Because some of our four parents were the original persons, the Aboriginal persons who were living here in Jamaica when the European came. And if you want to call them Amerindian, if you want to call them China, but I choose to use the word Amerindian because it's a broad description of basically who they were, right? They knew how to live from the land. So, and they had the knowledge, our four parents have the knowledge of thousands of years before they got here. Because people tend to, to believe that the African man began to think when he stepped out of the, 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 the ships on this, this side of the Atlantic. But they have existed in the modern land Africa and they have been pyramids. They have been so many great structures. They have do iron work and everything like that. So they were quite knowledgeable. And they know how to live from the land. So if if they were out in the hills there, they would know what they should eat and what they could get. If you today you see most persons marching along from the kinder tree, you notice what kind of vine they, they wrap themselves in? The cartoon vine. So the cartoon vine for our four parents is referred to as the warrior bush. Because it was those vines that they used to camouflage themselves when they were fighting the British. It, uh, it is a it is a it is a bean and it bears bean right and they eat the beans right but you don't go out there and try to eat it like that because you have to prepare it before 
and there are several plants that grows in the forest that you can that you can use for food right for example the palm certain kind of palm tree you don't have to cook it you can just cut down take the heart of it and then you you consume that right the, yes, really, really, really. <laughs> ready 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 to go food handy go right yeah the art of the palm right Sweet. Right. Right. You can use it as a salad, you can cook it, you can make run down with it or whatever, right? It tastes nice. It's oh yeah, you know. but I can tell you what. You no, know, well, you know they would they would eat it just like that and you know when they catch a pig, they would cook it with the you know, the pork, right? <laughs> so, so there are a lot of things. There are a lot of things to eat. And if you know, there are certain trees that you can eat the bark of the tree, the inner part of the bark. Like for example, the ramu tree. You can yeah. eat the inner part. What tree? Ramu. The ramu. Ramu. Yeah. All right. They eat things like jokoto. I guess. Fat bark. Yeah. Where well, can we find yeah. the ramu? You have that ramu tree, no? tree up here. All right, so I, I happen to tell you, right? Yes. To know what it is and where it is, that is upon you to find that out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then, they, they, there were a lot of birds around, you know, the, the wild pigs and the cones that they could, they could they hunt and provide. And, and food would be pretty much on the table. I, I want to say to you that in a description of the Windward Maroons fighting against the British, there's a place that they were first living in, the way where Nanny and her followers first lived. And that was the first free black settlement on that side of the highland, right? A place they called Punkin Hill. Yeah, Punkin Hill. Punkin Hill. Yeah. And the British writer was describing having gone there <coughs> and for about a stretch of 20 miles, there were traps that they set to catch the wild hogs. So if you know over 20 mile distance, and I'm not saying that our four parents said that, and I'm saying you want the British route, right? Mm -hmm. to, to show you how, how intensive their hunting practices were. And they, the coney was pretty much there, even though the coney is a protected species now. Mm -hmm. But I must hasten to say, there need to be some sort of balance between man and nature. And because we have protected the coney so, for so long, it has become a pest now. Mm. <laughs> yes. I, I, I am I mean, yeah, where I live, where, where I live, yeah. you're giving the farmers a hard time. So we have we have developed programs so far. We have set cameras out there yeah. that we are doing a study on them. And we will continue to do so. And we'll continue to take visitors to with night vision binoculars so they can see them and stuff like that. But the, 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 the fact of the matter is, though, that our four parents did not see themselves as runaway slaves. Because the first thing to begin with, right? Slave is not the right word to use to describe our four parents. And slave free is the better way to describe them. So, so anything, they took their freedom in their hands and they walk away from the plantation. And bear in mind, a lot of them never really spent a day on the plantation because they were born during the time the fighting was taking place. And many of them, if... Mr. If, uh, 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 I know this is like a government table. We are not living in a communist country and you have the students in life. So I don't think. For sure. Be free. Why? Are we your facility? No. The situation is with me. Normally when I speak to students, I generally stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I'm not a student alone, but a lot of persons I do, you know, and I, I generally stand. Yeah. But the thing about it though, what I would want, right? The time is short, I'm going to be running. Yeah. So I might tell you a lot of things, or I might tell you a little thing, but what I say is not necessarily what you want to know, right? So the best thing, if I will take a few questions. If you want to ask me any question, I, that, you know, that, that way you can pull out what it is that you want to have to understand even more. What is the symbolism behind the trees over here? Because I think that is just a major 
The trees are... The are trees. The, Kinna tree. Okay, so this is a kin like mean family, right? Okay. Our four parents operate in a way. As I said before, they were yen kunkunu, meaning that they live together in commune, right? And things are in. Yeah. Earlier on, when I told you I got the same school, and I see same family, because the first school is kindergarten. Yeah. You know the word kindergarten? All right. Continue. Yeah. So, so one of the things that was a scarce commodity, right, was salt. So you notice the food that you cook today, there was no salt in it, right? Okay. But then, you can add other spices and things with it to give the food the kind of flavor and the taste that you want to get from it, right? So, so what, what you saw today, if you happen to see it anyway, right? Was just the maroon way of getting together, sharing a meal, and most of all, remember the ancestors. Remember the grandfather. Because that's what you call the elders, right? The ones that pass and you refer to them as grandfather. So you don't eat your belly full and don't leave anything for them. So you have to put their portion where they'll be able to get it. I'm I like. Mm -hmm. Even as children around the house, you notice like if a father go and drink a beer and throw some on the ground, mm -hmm. I'll throw some on my rice because he's doing that. Remember to do that. Consider the tradition. Yeah. So, 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 so the, 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 the little libation that you, you pour is very important. So we would, and our elders would never dare call the name of an ancestor that passed and a elder. I, you know, a grandfather, as I refer to them, without pouring a libation, without saying why they are calling their name, and ask them permission so to do. So I, I said these things, but you know, it might seem trivial to you, but for us, it is not trivial. It's it's a serious business, you know. So take that into consideration. Anybody want to ask any other question or any other information? Anybody want? Um, apart from what is written on the maroon that we have in books, textbooks, is there any document that is written solely by the maroon community? All right, okay, fine. So, so the, the, let, let me say this. First of all, right, the history of the maroons and the part of the maroons is more a oral one than a written one. So things were passed on from one generation to another generation. But nonetheless, there are maroons, maroon authors who have written extensively on the maroon thing. You can, like for example, Beverly Carey. Yeah, yeah. Carey yeah. Robinson. Yeah. Well, I, no, no, no. I, I said Carey Robinson, but Beverly Carey. You can, there's a, there's a one that, 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 that she wrote a book, right? It's, it's, it's referred to as the maroon story, yeah. right? And I, I must hasten to say that that book had gained such traction that at one point in time it was the most expensive book <laughs> on Amazon. A book that is selling for sixteen thousand dollars. But so, she, and, and and she has she has she's a maroon herself from you know the windward side and. And she was born there, she grew up there, she did a lot of work, her research work. Her, her entire life is on that. There are work that was done by, for example, the farmer Colonel at the Motown Maroon Slayer GRS. There was work that was done by Mr. McFarlane and another Maroon from Motown as well. And there is there's a work that was done by somebody who is not a Maroon, right? Um, Kenneth Bilby. Mm -hmm. He has spent quite Sometime in the Motown Maroon community in Akumpong, and he have researched a lot in Africa amongst the Maroons of Suriname and French Guyana. So his body of work is something that you can look into. He's, he has written a book that is referred to as Chuban Maroon. But, but that is a minuscule amount of the collect the things that well, he's collected. Pardon me. Familiar with the Ayat yeah, yeah, yes, I am. I know Kira Robinson. Yeah, I know. 
and you know he's a native, right? Yep, I know. He went to car oil. But yeah. you know what I think when we are charging our juice, we do right down. And who know what's come from right down, we see them. I research them. You know, and Chinese people are not Indian people, not other race content. You know. When I damn and force our guys to come in the country, in our future. So, if over 300 years we have poor at history, where we are transcend the great always tell story, we are great storyteller. So it's up to you, this generation, to make sure not document it. So, so you know, what we did, like, like in Morton, right? What we did, like, they, we, have, we have entered the music at the Morton Maroon and in a UNESCO list of part of the, a masterpiece of the world and intangible heritage of humanity, which was granted in 2003. Right? So, so we, we, we managed to have that. And in 2015, we did the Blue and Janka Mountain National Park, which basically becomes a world heritage site as well. And we are still working as tediously. Every Maroon community have their own peculiarities about them, and they work on those aspects. In a particular, but at the same time, we have a maroon secretariat and work together that binds all the maroon communities, right? And we work through that. Chief Timothy is the person who chairs that maroon secretariat, right? And all the colonels and the other, other officers are part of that, that, that secretariat. Because Chief is now, but before him, before him, it was Emmanuel Obisari, and before Emmanuel Obisari was Beverly Cleary. Because she is the one who actually started it. And then when she had left, then, you know, Emmanuel, Dr. Emmanuel Abisari was. And then when he left, then, you know, Timothy, Chief Samantha, now he's the chairperson. So we sit down together and we discuss. But in Morton, what we did is we did a lot of interview with the elders. You know, though some of them are elders and some are video and, you know, and everything like that. And we compile them and we are archiving these materials because it is important to have these tools, right? Because nearly every child that goes to school now, especially in high school, if I, if I tell my child, look, you know, I'm going to buy one of these bangers, they're going to laugh at me and say, I don't want a banger. So you have a smile. So we can put all of these materials on the phones. The same television that you're going to come home from school and watch. Those materials can go there. So it's a way of passing on the knowledge. Because in his time and my time, we come over from school and the elders would have told us things. Because that's the way it was. There was, there was no television to compete with. There was very few radios, and chances are there was none in your house. So you'd use a lot of time by the elders get, because you know, families were basically extended families anyway. So the elders will have all the time to pass on the information to you as a children and you know through the games. And importantly too, the songs that you hear, the the the, the, the songs that are sung by the various Maroon community, is really the, the record of the history of our of our, par of our, our, our parents. Listen to the songs, listen to what they are saying. They might not have many verses, but at the same time, these songs are what our poor parents used to record their history. I highlighted earlier, even the name of the bush, like when they check Papa Bush, Kuma, Fatimbara, these are the names of respective ancient Sibone people, yeah. where we call Maroons in this time. Um, earlier on, somebody in our group went off and said, you know anything about Mako Maroons? I was telling that Mako in Clarendon. Well, the thing about it, you see, the Maroon community has, has started now. Okay, fine. So there is a pom pom, there's Moton, there's Katali, and there's Charlestown, and so on and so forth. Green flag staff. Flag staff. But you guys have to bear in mind that Maroon and Maroon Hodge did not necessarily start in a pom pom, nor Moton, nor Katali, nor flag staff. It started in other places. And the communities have to move when they come under pressure from the colonial power 
to areas where they could live and defend themselves. So the cockpit country lends itself to the people in terms of how impregnable it was. And it was difficult for the, for the, the colonial masters, the, the British, to really trap them inside the answer. The Blue Mountain is the same story. So when the settlement was made, you end up with a Chilani town, you end up with a Hakompong, you end up with a Morton, and you end up with a, 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 a well, you end up with a with a Charles town. Basically, you end up with a Crawford town yeah. before Astor, yeah. a Scott, yeah. Be, yeah. before before a Charles town yeah. and before a Scotsall because Scotsall actually comes out of the, 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 the original person that were yeah. were there. Because if you look at their treaty, it was after, yeah. right? But then there were two main groups. The Leeward Maroons, which were here in the cockpit country, and the Windward Maroons was over there on the Blue Mountain side. So when the settlement was made, when the treaty was signed, land was allocated in different locations according to where persons wanted to reside and stuff like that. So you end up with all of these various communities. But remember clearly that there were just two main Maroon groups, right? The Leeward Maroon on the leadership of Kodja, and the Windward Maroon on the leadership of Grandinani. But before them, there were other Maroon elders. Like Nana Jeju was there before. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She was there before Grandi Nani. And, and there were other generals. Barney, you were yeah. yeah. Kubena. That was there with Nani and with Kojo, who makes up the hierarchy of the leadership of the, Maroon, the various Maroon communities. So people settled in different areas. So to, to, to just say, more town no or a compound or Charleston. It's it's you know, you have to look at it from when it started. Um, Chief, this is something I'm going into though which is very um, interesting. Is it that the when the treaties were signed, the, the, the Marmos at the time did they have the option of selecting where they want to reside or was it a situation where they were a more specific area was assigned? They had they, they had option to to, de to decide where they want to reside. Oh, they were not sure. Yeah, but look here. In terms of since they were already there. Yes, but look here. And it's not flat. You might ask yourself the question. Because people ask me this question all the time. Why didn't the, the Morton Maroon choose to live in Port Antonio? No, and what happened? Too low. Where were they at? The, their main fighting strength was in the mountains. Yes. Oh. So, even though the treaty was signed, there was no love between them and the colonial power. There was no trust. So you have to make sure that you reside in a place where when push come to shove, you can defend yourself. I, 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 another thing about you too. Yeah. If you are in Blue Mountain, yeah. anywhere between Kuno Kuno Pass, Blue Mountain and Janka Peak, yeah. you can't see the wall of Kingston. So, because you are not in the say, yeah, all right, then go down there so we up and start watching them. They move oh. around to watch them. They move around to watch them, but we are doing it. So, 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 look here now. How do you come to a compound? Well, no, no, no. I'm, I'm talking like no. No, no, no. I'm talking like no. If you want to come to a compound now, how many options do you have in entering into the community? One, four. It's not many. But guess what? These entrants could be easily defended by the people in the community. Yes. So it was very important. If you come to more town, you have only two ways you can enter. And I want to put on the side, I want to send them aside. So the thing is, the thing is, these people, they choose the area. Strategy. Because if you go to more town, you find that it is in a valley. Where you used to live at the place that the government called Nani Town, that all four parents refer to as Tony River, is similar. You can depend it easily with as few persons as possible. So it was very important when they choose this place that they want to live, that they could find food, they could find building material, they could find water, and, and that's how Sorry, it is. Sorry, there's some I met somebody, well, history, the uh, Nova Scotia, Canada, and the person is a Maroon, and I remember a couple years ago, they said that team would have come to the celebration here, but their forefathers 
would have been from somewhere in the hills of the Blue Mountains. Uh, 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 and there was a flat star. Yeah, but they came. They came here. Yeah. They, they, they came here, they came to Charleston, they came to Scansa, and they came to Morton, right? Yeah. So we understand, we, we understand what transpired mm -hmm. there during the Second Maroon War, right? right. When well, no, it was like. So, when I think we, 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 even, even the chief or me as a chief, when I think when we are pushed, one of the things where the English use power is the divide and rule strategy. Right. So, you see, one of the things where we are pushed is the ways and means where we can get the town yes. moving forward so, under one man. You know, I'm going to say this now, though. I want to say, Medasi. Thank you. Thank you, Medasi Apwe. Thank you a thousand times for could, this could day. I, but, but, could I just ask the last question? Yeah. Now that I, um, I discovered that um, the Accompong Town has a bank, I didn't know that. You guys have your own money. Listen, listen, listen again. I'm going to say something again. Listen yes. to me carefully. Yes. In Maroon parlance, we sometimes we say chamu chamu yede. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> In no set. Right. Oh. <laughs> Which means, yeah. as chief for another town and as chief for another town, yeah. mm -hmm. it will be much more important if you hear remarks about the loom from the chief of our company. We don't want to overstep the protocols. Oh, okay, I understand. Yes. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very beautiful information. What will happen to or uh, with the Looney? What will become of it? So, Mr. Reed, what are your thoughts on the Looney? Do you think it is something that should be legalized? Um, I have not yet sat down, Miss Mundell, and thought about this issue. To be honest, I didn't really pay that much mind. I understand that a compound is somewhat autonomous. Um, <laughs> if you are, it is a it is a autonomous area within a state, which is Jamaica, and we have a legally traded currency which is Jamaican dollar. If we are going to have another currency that is being traded, then that, that currency has to go through the various stipulations. But I personally think that, uh, let's say, let's call it a country, because that is what they are, a united body. And to say they have their own, they have their own school, their own bank, their own police station, everything that a regular country would have. Why isn't it that they can have their own currency? It would be only fair. I know it would be a major issue to have a country inside of a country. So, so I, I would probably it would be correct to say that a country is a country. It is not. But it would be, it would say it is a area independent area within yes. within a country a country yes um the treaty that was signed by the british with the british and the maroons hundreds of years ago gave the maroon a lot of autonomy yes we all know that when it comes down to a currency money that you're dealing with a totally different thing i understand what the maroons are doing it's interesting it is it deserves discussion what can they do as an autonomous area or what they cannot do that is what we will have to discuss and the whole money thing comes in that it is really interesting because coming here today i've learned a lot because i've been told things i've never been i'm, I'm 16 mm -hmm. and 16 years the first time I'm hearing these things, so it's very interesting, and I really think it's a good place for persons to come and know about our history mm -hmm. and our ancestral background. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I hope that in some time to come, though, the Jamaican currency will a kick kind of go on like how the Lumia go on. Yes. Yeah? So the Jamaican currency will value more. All right. Yeah. Big up from a home. Yeah. Peace out. Yeah. Yeah.